Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tier Sitters. My name is Kurt Conley, co-founder of Cryptofire. I'm here with Mr. Nissen. How are you today, Nev? Rev? Yeah. Rev? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doing good, Kurt. Doing good. Uh, how about yourself? Good, mate. You look a little bit tired. Looks like someone's been up all night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I was uh, definitely, I uh, spent a bit of time up. Uh, I think I went to bed at like 8.30 in the morning. I was uh, just messing about with some code and then uh, chatting with a bit of our, our community as well while I was there. So might as well just uh, interact and have a chat. And everyone seems to be having a lot of fun within Discord. So if you're not, if you're a part of Cryptify community and you're not in Discord, you need to get in there because uh, it's, it's just a place to be, really. The, the information is, is on point. Really good, really lots of fun happening. I mean, obviously, the market is looking really good at the moment. Um, it's, it could be like salt season is is backing off and we might be moving into potential alt season. I don't want to drop the hammer on that just yet, but it is looking really good. Market's don't, looking nice and green. Bitcoin is trying to chill a little bit. Don't, well. jinx it, yeah. don't jinx it just yet. Just give us a bit more time, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's jump into two cities and see what we're looking at today. So as always, uh, disclaimer, you know, not top financial advisors. What we talk about in Discord, Facebook, and Twitter is not to be considered investment advice. You guys know the drill by now. And for all our members out there that are signed up to TIS, you guys know what's doing. If you're not signed up to TIS, by all means, head over to CryptoStat.org, register for the Discord, jump in there, follow the steps, and come join the rest of the community with TIS. It's a great tool for everyone, and everyone's been using it lately and doing really well off it. So let's look at the weekly hits that we discussed uh, on Friday. So going back to the 20th, which was series nine, we talked about a few tokens here and these are, this is the wrap up to date. So uni, um, the target was to try and get an hourly close above 24,600. We're currently sitting in sats around 20,600. So there is no real change there at the moment. We're not talking about the high since the entry and we're just continuing to monitor that. I still think uni has a good chance to go for a run here, but let's just see what happens. OMG, we talked at about 18,820 set entry. The current set value is at 21,860. So from entry to where we are now, the current change is plus 20%. But it did push a little higher and nearly cracked that 30% return. We're yeah. sitting at around 28%. Yeah. That was a really good trade. Yeah, and it's still looking pretty good. I mean, right now it's hovering above where we thought there may be a breakout. 21,440 we mentioned. It's at 21,860 when we last looked. So... Yeah, it could potentially be going for it again. Uh, just keep your eyes open for it. So, yeah, definitely a decent definitely. trade. Yeah, really good. Uh, Adam was the other one at 29,000 sats. Current set value is around 31,910. So we're up 10% um, with the current change. The high since entry, we've got plus five there, Rev, but we did have 10% uh, over here on the current change. So uh, I think they might have been flipped over. But, yeah, the, yeah, the flipped, high was about 10% and the current right. change is about 59 there you go so that's what we're doing with the weekly hits so uh so that's the wrap up keep your eyes on omg um yeah lots of green across the board there so right now um we're looking at serum okay so that is the first one that we're looking at current rank is 136 uh usd price is a dollar 22 and sitting around 6600 sats um we're looking for potential push on the ema it needs to break above that 8,100, and then after that, we could see the first target sitting around 11,000 sats. Volume is about 70 Bitcoin. Um, not too many pings on this particular one, no. but the setup looks good. So we've yeah. only had one ping, and we're going to give it a rating 7 out of 10 just based on what we're looking at. So if you want to pull up some charts, let's have a quick look. Yeah, let's do that. So I know you wanted to give it a 6 or so, Kurt, from what you were seeing, um, but I felt that maybe it does deserve a 7. Um, and that's only because it's, it's actually got some sort of decent volume happening in there um and the chart looks really good uh, the chart it looks attractive let's look at the tokenomics really quickly here and have a look at their supply so circulating supply right now is 50 mil and the total supply is 161 mil not too sure why or how um but i'm sure we can find out the so all-time high date was on september 1st 2020 um at $3.75 it's currently at dollar twenty three. so you're picking it up at about a third of the price at 33 percent of the the actual high from a dollar perspective um, and that's also because Bitcoin's moved up in dollar price, hold, you know, hurting its SAP value, whatever it may be. But let's bring up the chart really quickly and show that uh, potential EMA push um, and, and show what, we, what we've seen there. So I think that was on the four hourly as well, wasn't it, Kurt? Uh, okay. Let's have a look here. That's on the hourly. You can see it's held its, it's, held its own. Someone's gone crazy on a motorbike down the road. Good on them, having some fun. 
it's crazy how um, sensitive these microphones are and how much you can hear on them, hey. <laughs> uh, so th there it is on the 4 hourly as well. If we can get above that 99 day MA, which is that yellow line right there, uh, going across, uh, sorry, the MA, the moving average. I don't know why I always think it's the EMA. Um, maybe because on, on, on my other setup, I use EMAs more than MAs, but MA is just to keep it simple for people as a moving average. That's what we want to see on a 4 hourly. We want it to go above that and then potential breakout, which is at 8, 100 or so, which is here. And you can see the last sort of top of there. The bodies are at 7992, um, the one before, you know, and it's tried. It's tried to go yeah. for it, but it's failed. And that's only because Bitcoin is, or is actually suppressing everything else when it starts to make crazy, crazy moves. So Serum does look like a really good trade. And I'm surprised I haven't got any yet. I think I might. Um, go and pick some up and another thing to keep on uh, an eye on is on the daily here also once again try and getting uh, above that 25 day EMA here because that's all we've sort of printed by now and you can see that's the 100 day EMA uh, sitting at 14,000 which is about double the price right now from where we're sitting so you know road to 1 million could be a potential one right here without even being in road to 1 million um, and and there's a zero line right there as well and MACD could be a potential push out of it so I really do like this setup and look at that looking back as well that that 100 day EMA or 99 day EMA sits within the range that we had here before it pushed out it's just mm -hmm. then that's when people say technical analysis doesn't really work I disagree it does work because it's, it's all psychology it's all there for you to look at as long as you know what you're looking at and just keep it simple uh, as you go along so we've had one buy and one sell and the last sell was really good sorry Kurt what was that saying people need to stay away from the one minute charts <laughs> <laughs> yeah do, do not sit there looking at one minute charts and the, th the three minute charts and uh someone was trading on like three second charts or something like that or five second charts i was like what is going on how do you do that um you can't even cover your fees doing that crazy. seriously um but yeah that's that's all we can see on serum um okay. buyers change 24 hours is up uh, and it's gradually just building up as well. Let's have a look real quickly at the price to volume correlation. Mm, okay, so we have volume sort of sideways, price going up, uh, and the buyers are just kind of sideways as well. Have fallen off a bit. We had a little surge here, and that's what sort of pushed it up. So volume does need to come to this for it to really see what its potential can be. So just keep an eye on that volume, um, and crypto stat data is, is really, really crucial for that. So. That's all we can see on Serum at the moment. Okay. Uh, the second one that we're looking at is BAT. Uh, CMC ranking at the moment for BAT is basic attention token 51. Uh, current USD price is 22 cents. SAT value is around that 2, 100, 1235 SAT range at the moment. It needs to close on the four hour around that 1300 mark. And once we get a close, a nice close on the four hour after that, we could see it push to that 1600 and even that 2000 SAT range. So, Definitely keep an eye on what's going on with the four hour on um, on BAT. 24 uh, hour volume is 88 Bitcoin. But here is the kicker, right? This thing has had 20 plus TIS notifications in the last, what, three weeks, two weeks, Red? Yeah, like something like that. Longer. Three weeks. We can say a like, month. <laughs> I think we stopped counting at 27, right? Yeah, we just said, I stopped, nah, I stopped like, counting. It doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. This thing has had so many trade notifications. However, it's like trying to tell us something. We talked about this a couple of videos ago. It's like, it's trying to tell us dollar cost averaging in, um, you know, picking some up here, picking some up there. Like that is like screaming at us from a notification point. Yeah. So it's really interesting. It definitely looks like it just wants to go for it. Like it wants to be bought here. And yeah. I feel like because of, because of the downtrend we've had, this is sort of the bottom to really be picking it up. Um, and how can you go wrong with that? That they've got a browser going on. Everything, everything's gone in their favor. Working, working technology, right? They're like, yeah. they're out there. Everyone knows about them. Yeah. Who else is doing that? There isn't many. So they definitely have the exposure. Um, and the beautiful, beautiful thing with TIS, it pinged it at uh, a sell at 32.5 as well. So we're definitely giving it an 8 out of 10. And, you know, a very nice I like as well from Barat here on this one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's check it out. Let's check out the chart and have a look. Uh, we look at the data here, 87 volume. Dropped off one one BTC since we've looked at it, which is probably in the last half an hour. The data actually doesn't look that great when we look at it across the board on CryptoStat. But don't let that deceive you and don't let that, you know, make you feel like, ah, oh, this isn't the greatest thing to be looking at. The buyers change here, right? It's probably the most important thing. But 
we're looking for bat to make really a move in the next maybe week or so is, is where we're sort of predicting it to, to actually do it. But it can do it at any any point in time because it's, it's crypto. We can be sleeping, we can be awake, be going to the toilet uh, and this stuff could be going crazy. So let's bring up the chart and have a look really quickly. So we need to close above the 1300 on the four hours. So let's bring up the four hourly here. And you can see where it's sort of bottomed out, kind of trying to, you know, hold back that range and, and push through now. 100 AMA right above it. Now we need to push through this double tweezer here on the four hourly body tweezers right there. And that's what pushed the price down actually even further. And now it's building momentum back up at 1249. So the week is at about 1300, 1270. So 1300 breakout close on the four hourly is a really good indicator and we can see the macd is above the zero line already on on the four hourly um and we just we just want to look for a push potentially to 2000 i think it's about this range here yeah so you can see where it's sort of had a bit of a bit of structure here we have the uh, bottoms here the support holding and then more support holding and then it's lost its support and just couldn't push through that 100 ama hopefully that's not what we're having here once again and continue to go downtrend we, we want to see it pick back, pick up and um, try and attack this this sort of range here. So that's what we're really seeing on it. I think on a daily, let's bring that up and have a look. Yeah, and, and I mean, if you look across, it hasn't sort of been any lower than this 1,000 sats right there. Let me bring this closer here so you guys can see it. There's This section is what I'm looking at, and that's at about 1,000 sats there. And we, we kind of hit that already, so... Hopefully a bounce is, is due for bat there, but it does look like a good trade for sure. We just need to make a correction there as well. Uh, back on the sheet, we said 32,000. Um, I think we need to correct that. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah. 3,200, 3,250 sats was where the, the sell was on. So this is what Kurt's talking about right here. That's okay. Um, but yeah, the 3,250 sats was where the sell was. The last one so if we look at it uh and that was a long-term three month to a year trade that was a yearly term trade sort of thing um and that was at 3250 right here and it's been about mm. i think it's been about two months since that so far two and a half months so it, it may just be ending that bearish move that you know tis mm. sort of caught and and hopefully it starts to recover and starts to push and that's why we sort of thinking, you know, this may take a week to really build up its momentum. Similar to what we spoke about OMG in the last one. We said yeah, it needs to be yeah, that's awesome. yeah. So that everyone, we, there's, there's people talking about OMG now saying, oh, okay, yeah, it's popped. I still think OMG's got some legs in it. That's just my personal opinion. And it's based on a, a similar to what we're looking at with BAT here. You know, like it takes a little bit of time, get some gas, and then it goes again. Yeah. Um, all right, sweet ass. So now there's a few other things that we want to speak about. <laughs> um, but uh, I'll, I'll bring that up for you in a second. So that's pretty much all we got on t sits hey, Kurt, for now. That's it for t sitters Yeah. Um, but there is some stuff we want to talk about. Just quickly, because we like to do this, right? In a little wrap-up. I know we're almost at 14 minutes, uh, but that's okay. <laughs> because we can fix that up uh, later on. But 50-plus long-term trade hits, pings. And there was probably one or two that was bearish. The rest of them was bullish, all on alt BTC pairs. That's just telling that that's the that's two times in a row we've had. This is insane. We may actually be looking for, and so far every sort of discussion, every sort of conversation we've had, Kurt, about this has gone the way we've sp spoken about it. And we did tell people, we did try and warn people, and I think this is why T is so important because it allows us to speak speak our you know our mind and what yeah, we're I mean. I think, you know, over the last few videos, we've been trying to do something at the back end and just try to tell people there's some momentum here, right? I still think a lot of people feel that Bitcoin's going to have this big crash, this big pullback. I think we personally believe that Bitcoin's going to slice through 20,000 and, and then do some thing from there. But the momentum is definitely building uh, for the alt, and you can definitely see that across the board at the moment. So, like, I love seeing it. We've been talking about this for a few videos now, and it's starting to come to fruition. And then we've got TIS to back that up. We've got, you know, 50 notifications here, 50 notifications, I think it was like a week ago, plus all the short-term buyers and the medium-term buyers are all being pinging off as well. We haven't seen this sort of data coming through with TIS uh, yeah. for some time, like a long time. So yeah. this just gives us more confidence in what we're talking about here. 
um, it, it like levels up in Discord with the community. They're seeing it as well. So you can see more of the interaction coming in with Discord. That's what we're talking about. There's lots going on in Discord. It's really starting to bubble and you can just feel it, the energy um, coming with this. So hopefully the momentum continues and we get some velocity going. Bitcoin can maybe go a little bit higher or even just chill here. I'm okay with that. As long as we don't get that big, that big pullback just yet, just yet, I'm really happy and I look forward to seeing what's going to happen for the rest for of the sure. week. And I'm really excited for what we're going to see um, in 2021 coming up because we, we, we have, you know, we said 2020 would be good for alts. It has been great. It's been amazing. We had three, yeah. four months, five months, maybe even six months worth of decent runs, you know, kicking in. Bitcoin uh, with, with COVID fell to 3,200 once again and then picked back up and look where it is now. It's been a great year, regardless of what anyone says for the crypto space. Now, next year, we're expecting it to be even better, 2021, because of the data we're seeing. So, you know, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just what we see and what we believe. Now, we are looking forward to that and we want to, we want, you know, obviously we want as many people on the journey with us to be able to, you know, capitalize on it, have some fun, enjoy yourselves and stuff like that. So, um, you know, if you're not part of this yet, I mean, it's not really that much of a, an investment really at the end of the day. And I, th like I was saying to you before, Kurt, like if there was someone like Tiss out there, I, I'd, I'd pay the 35 a month personally. And I'm not, I'm not trying to shill it. <laughs> I'm not trying to shill it, but I, I would, you know, if there's someone else like that out there, that's um, giving you sell and buy recommendations, recommendations, someone to look at, I, I pay for it, to be quite honest, um, especially if it had a, a decent track record. So, um, but there is something else that we want to talk about. <laughs> You're talking about the new lucky token, the new, the, the new this, one that we've been eyeing on. Ah, the single token. <laughs> Where's the party poppers? We need the party poppers. <laughs> For people that don't know, we did a lucky token where we, we had been looking for something for some time. We made this announcement in Facebook and the lucky token was banned. So we called banned at a dollar. Still think banned's got huge potential, lots of room to move. Um, but we're looking to do and find another lucky token. We believe we've found it. We have been eyeing it up. TAs, fundamentals, it's all been happening with it. And we reckon we're ready to launch it and let people know what's going on with it. So stay tuned. Um, we are going to make an announcement. I'm going to get people to make comments and stuff like that. And then what we will do is we will announce it on Friday uh, this week, uh, what the lucky token is. And whoever guessed what the lucky token is, we'll give some giveaways and stuff like that. So until then, uh, we're going to tune out. Uh, look forward to spending Friday with you and hope all of you guys make some good trades this week. Take care. Bye -bye. Before we go, Kurt, I'm sorry. I know you said take care. Goodbye. But just to bring this up, XRP is actually sitting at 99.75%. So we have a fifth <laughs> token on the Binance MACD scanner above 100, nice. you know, 90%. Cruising. Cruising. <laughs> I'm sure your wife is happy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, the whole community has been seeing what's going on with uh, XRP. And yeah, she uh, made a few trade calls and now she thinks uh, she's running the show. Anyway, that's enough about that. <laughs> going to keep screaming to the moon. <laughs> I've got to run. I've got an appointment I've got to go to. I'll speak to you guys all later. Take Happy care. trading. Enjoy the rest of your week. Cheers, Take care. Bye. Take it easy. Bye.